Jamie Tech. In uh, today's video, I'm going to show you something more cooler, uh, how to search instantly on Flutter SQF Lite database. Uh, for example, here we have a list of uh, records, right? Uh, I want to search for Moni uh, like this, and I, if you want to search for Jamie, you can get it. And here, for example, working, it's possible something like a Farid, you can get it instantly. And you know, this is very easy. Um, I'll be with you if you people need the whole uh, a, a source code. I will upload on WhatsApp because I don't have a GitHub account, right? So uh, let's start and do not waste time. Uh, the first thing you have to keep in mind is to create a class student class, right? And here you have this and this, right? The required key is this and that. And here factory student like that. Okay, a factory you you can ha you can find its definition right here. And we are just convert the poets class. I mean, just it was not a student class, right? Student student class, right? Into a map. So this this is what I did. And now we go to the database class. This one, and here we have just uh, created a class uh, and uh, a class which has only one instant. We did this, and here this, and we have created a, we created new field for the database. And here future database get if the database is not initialized is initialized, we return the database if already exists. So you can understand it easily. Now we are initialized in it database. Here, this we are, uh, you know, set the path to the database. No, not using the jo uh, join function from the path package is best practice to ensure the path is correctly constructed for each platform. We store our database in our file storage system, right? So this, <coughs> this is done, and here we uh, created a, st a string, a path. Here, a gym table, right? I mean, I have created this for team and here we are returning uh, open the database and here version and this is the uncreate method when the database is first first time created create a table to store here we have simply <coughs> created a table uh, easily you can uh, i think we don't need any other function you know function for getting search result right now here we just have to get the points the all points you know for example it is a student you know get all students and you can know now we are going to get the points i mean students and display them in a list view this get a reference to the database and here we get this id and uh, we are just from the database the table for all the points and this uh, future students you can get a reference insert into the exact yeah existence table you can do that in here future you know this one is delete from the table and this one is for update so let's go here to the search box page and here we have uh this right go ahead here text editing controller and database helper class this is uh it's an object we are getting an instance and here we have user input search input and here we have one boolean value we are getting do it just once so now we have this uh container and here right now when we have a search box you know uh, text uh here text field form or text form field we have this and here we have unchanged method and value filter value in this we are also print the values uh, and here the hint and now we are going to have a list we write down okay first we have a box container here and then we are, this is the main thing we have to keep in mind right uh, this right so let's review it if we have a future builder and we're getting a database helper that get points all points and here uh, this is builder uh, the snapshot we're making you should define a bull, boolean like bull, like we did upside right 
and he uh, list with snapshot snapshot the data we are assigning this to this and filter list should be equal to this list we are assigning this to this and just do it this line helps to do just one certain i mean right and here we are returning a list view that builder which has padding reverse physique and string rape and here item code is important filter list that length right i did a lot of uh method like snapshot that data that length but was not working item builder is exactly builder this student here we are we have a dismissible you know we can dismiss this but i think it is not needed right you don't need it while you're searching with this and, and the last we are returning a card and here in the card we have a circular avatar and title and subtitle trailing and this and this so that are thank you let's now um, run the application and see whether it works or not so now uh, let me add another person the genie something like this and here um, you have to refresh the list to have genie so um so now let me search for genie yeah got it we can go back or we can go there to the specific item so thank you so much for watching this video just don't forget to subscribe and uh, also don't forget to share with your friends